All right, welcome back. So now we are ready to start by creating the first part of our sketch in exercise number four. So let's go ahead and open up the drawing for exercise number four. Now this is a drawing in PDF format and it is part of your exercise files folder. So make sure you open that up, print it and have it in front of you as I'm going through this exercise. So first we're gonna focus on the sketch that is right here, the section view of our part, which you can see over here. Now what we're gonna be doing is basically creating the geometry for half of the part, and then we're gonna be using the surface revolved to revolve the surface of the sketch all around uh, the part, okay? So we'll get started with that. So come over here and minimize that, and let's go ahead and get started. Now first, we wanna place this in the front view. So go ahead and come over here and click on front view world coordinate system. So all you've done is place the world coordinate system in the front view, but you also wanna click on planes, place that in the front view, and then also the G view, click the on that and place it in the front view. So everything you're drawing is in the front view. All right, and then we can begin our sketch. Now again, go back to your uh, model real quick so we can study this real, real quick. So first and foremost, from the top over here to the bottom is half an inch. And then we're gonna go across, I believe that is half the circle, half the circle over here. So the entire circle radius is 2.5. So basically we're gonna be going from here to the end. So a bit from here to here, 2.5 and then we're gonna be going one and a half inches up. And then after that, the last but not least, we're gonna draw a radius of 4.0, okay? So let's go ahead and minimize this real quick and we'll get started over here. So first and foremost, we can come over here to line, start from the center, and it doesn't matter if you wanna go up or down, whatever you want. First, this is gonna be half an inch, so type in 0.5, enter, apply, and then click on the bottom, Move it to the left, that's gonna be 2.5, apply. And then from here to the top is gonna to be 1.5, apply. And again, this is something very simple you should already know how to do. Uh, so last but not least for the geometry, we wanna draw a circle from here to here with a 4.0 radius. So come over here under the circle, click on that uh, little down arrow, and come over here under create arc endpoints. That's the easiest method to create so just click on one point, click on the second, and then you'll see where you can snap that circle, whether you want it go in this direction or that direction. Obviously we want it in this direction. Snap it anywhere, and then just change either the radius or the diameter to whatever you want. Now again, just to double check, go back, and you'll see that this is a radius of 4.0, so make sure to change the radius to 4.0. Hit enter, apply, and okay. So there you go for the sketch, but the last but not least, we need to actually create a radius that we have on this end of the part and go back to your sketch so we can verify that. And that's gonna be a quarter of an inch radius. So go ahead and create a fillet. That is a quarter of an inch. So come over here under fillet. Make sure this is quarter of an inch. And you can just come over here, either snap it onto this point or select the two lines over here to create that. Hit apply and hit okay. Now for the levels, I like to use levels to make sure that all my geometry is separated. You can keep that as levels. You can click on that and make sure to call that maybe first part geometry or whole geometry for the whole piece before you start cutting pieces from there. It's gonna be five entities and you can keep it separate, okay? You can hit apply there. So the next thing we wanna do is we actually wanna create the revolve around this entire part. So this is something not that hard either. Let's go ahead and change the color. So come over here for the uh, surfaces and let's go ahead and change the color uh, make it something bright, something you can easily see. Let's go ahead and make this yellow and select OK. All right, so now that you have that, go ahead and select levels and let's change the levels to two and we will uh, revolve, we'll name it revolved surface. All right, so we can just identify that la uh, later better. Go ahead and click on OK and let's come over here to create surfaces and revolved. So the first thing it will ask you to do is select profile curve. Now you don't wanna click on chains because it will select this entire chain. You want it to be closed. That means you want it to start here and end here or start here, go all the way around and end here because you wanna use this as your axis. And you'll know what I mean by after we select this. So go ahead and go to partial chain and let's go ahead and start right here. Select this one, this, there and remember Select in the beginning or the end. So if this is halfway point of any line, selecting the beginning makes it go this way, selecting this side makes it go that way, the chain. So you always wanna make sure you select the beginning of each chain. There you go, and that will be my chain. 
After you have that selected, select OK. And it will ask you to select the axis of rotation. That will be this line right here. And it will preview your entire part. That's exactly as we want. It looks really good. Select Apply and select OK. Go ahead and click on Clear Colors. If there was that, you know, sometimes it will stay as pink. Uh, that's the default color. And you select Clear Colors to exit out of that. And this concludes this session. So in this session, we learned how to create the revolved uh, surface around our first geometry.